If you are shorter than 5 feet 5 inches and you are fond of wearing sarees, then this video is for you. Hi, welcome back to our series on fashion and styling. Today, I'm going to share with you certain tips that will help you look taller in a sari. Means if you are short, then also you can create an illusion of being taller than your actual height in a sari using these tips. First of all, the fabric of your sari should be very soft. Avoid any stiff or fluffy fabrics like cotton and organza. Rather, choose fabrics like georgette or crepe and then keep the entire sari in one single color so that the vision does not break at any point. Means if your height won't break in parts, then automatically you're gonna look taller. There are certain saris that have different colors for the pleats part and the pallu. Avoid any such sari. You can take a contrast blouse, but it's still better to go for a same color as the sari itself. Then there are saris that have borders. Avoid these if possible especially the ones with very broad borders. Choose something that doesn't have any borders or has thin borders. A thin border won't break the vision as much, whereas a broad border cannot be ignored and it will automatically break your body in parts, making you look even shorter. Same thing is to be kept in mind while color blocking. You are not going to pick any such color blocking design that breaks the vision in length. And if you're fond of printed sarees, then you need to avoid really scattered and big prints. Instead, prefer smaller or busy prints that are a mix of random small designs. If you like pleated pallu, then keep the pallu length long enough to go down till below your calf length and not something ending midway till your knees or something. This is quite an important point and plays a major role in giving you more length and a sophisticated look. And if you've got a big belly, then don't pleat your pallu. Instead, drape it loose and tuck it here beneath your elbow and put a safety pin. Some people are really used to keeping the length of their sarees little above the ground. Believe me, this looks so tacky. Don't let the saree end above the floor. Rather, keep the length fully till the floor. Now, let's talk about blouses. Avoid closed neck and high neck designs if possible. And prefer deep neck lines like U-neck or V-neck. This will give length to your neck and also create an illusion of a taller height. You should wear longer sleeves instead of short ones. Maybe full sleeves or at least till the elbow. This will make your arms look longer and leaner. If there's some special occasion and you want to wear a heavy embroidered sari, then make sure that both your sari and the blouse aren't all embroidered. Either sari or blouse should be heavy, but not both. You're gonna get lost if both are fully embellished. These were all the points about sari selection. How you style these saris and how you accessorize plays an important role in your overall final look. If possible, then prefer long necklaces only with a sari. Avoid high and smaller necklaces or choker designs and pair it up with long earrings or wear just long earrings. Avoid big handbags completely, be it a sari or any outfit. If you have a short height, then you should stick to smaller bags only or you can easily carry sling bags too. Lastly, we'll talk about hairstyles. Choose your hairstyle as per the shape of your face. If you want to add some height, then go for some high bun or high ponytails. And if you don't like pulled up styles, then you can try some styles with a poof. And if you like to have your hair loose, then prefer straight hair. It will create some length around your face. I have made a video on this particular topic just because I had been getting a lot of messages requesting for this. Short-heighted people cannot really figure out anything more than wearing heels to make themselves look taller and better. I am sure you must have got a lot of ideas about how to wear sarees with a short height. If you want to see a video on any topic and if you found this video helpful, then do let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear that. Till then, do share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.